Android Wacomix. Oh, I'm sorry. Do it again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. So, please. Sorry. 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 It was a practice. All right, you ready? That was great. Right? It's totally fun. <laughs> practice round. Dog show. <laughs> round one. Fight. Dog show. Hi, my name is Glenn. I'm from Games by Playdate. We're the creators of Slash, Pack the Pack, and Bad Habit. And tonight we're doing a full play of our new game, Hearts Blazing, which is a card-driven story game of science fiction, conflict, and romance. I've gathered a few of my friends here with me today to uh, help me test out this horrible train wreck of an idea. I'm Kate. I've known Glenn for far too long, and I'm a better person for it. And um, I'm too. I'm Jasmine, and I'm a friend. I'm Tony. I'm a friend, too. I'm Brenda. I'm a frenemy. Still, I stand by that. But really, more of a friend. Um, and I'm also a writer for Women Write About Comics, where I write about games and other exciting geek news. All right. So uh, some of you guys have played Hearts Blazing before, and I thank you very much for that wonderful evening. And other people have not. So I'm going to quickly go through uh, how the game is played. Um, but really, you learn by doing. So a couple things that we're going to do. We're going to create an entire season of a sci-fi TV show of a world that we make up off the top of our heads right now, which is why it's important that we brought Jim. Uh, so, <laughs> oh my gosh. so mm, everyone at the table is going to be in charge of part of the world in the way that you might think a traditional game master is. Uh, and they are also going to be a certain archetype of character that you routinely find in sci-fi stories. Things like the veteran soldier or uh, the rookie pilot or the ace pilot or whatever. So we're gonna have those and those are gonna give us some cards called uh, our cliche deck and we're gonna use those cliches to place bids on certain episodes as they come up, episodes of the show. And by being the highest bidder on that episode, it's gonna allow us to capture the keywords of that episode. And if we have the most keywords at the end of the entire season, we get to say what the final fate is of the season. Uh, but we have to work as a team to overcome the challenges of each episode, which is why the bidding is important. Uh, so right off the top, let's just make this world and the way that we do that is we answer a few questions. Um, where are we? Who has an idea of where and when this is? Anybody? Anyone? 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 1970s alien desert. Okay, 1970s. Is Roswell? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like you say alien, alien, alien desert. Alien desert. Alien desert. Not Earth. Okay. Desert with aliens. Okay. Maybe, alien desert. Maybe, we're, <laughs> maybe we're the crash landed aliens in Roswell, so it mm. is an alien desert to us. Uh, exactly. <laughs> So the, one of the rules of thumb in uh, Hearts Blazing is, is that if an idea has another person's enthusiasm on top of it, then you go with it and you just keep moving forward. So 1970s Alien Desert, Brenda, that means that you are the caretaker of the history in the setting. Oh, look at me. Uh, as a caretaker, we're all going to be caretakers of different things. As a caretaker, you don't have total control over all that thing. Uh, but if any of us have a question about, well, you know, what is it like in this desert? Or, you know, can this exist or something? You're the adjudicator, you're the yes or no, you're the final say on anything relating to history and setting. Got and it. it's not just your responsibility, but you get to vote things up and down. Gotcha. So 1970s Alien Desert, actually quickly about that. Is it, do you want it to be like on earth desert or, nope. or like it's a desert on an alien planet? So desert like on Arrakis alien planet. style? <laughs> Well, not even a reconcile, but just alien planet. But it's also 1970s mm -hmm. state. Correct. So we're like in Tatooine over here? Uh, <laughs> I would say more Arrakis than Tatooine. Okay. So okay. Like, Arrakis? Okay. Arrakis? Okay. 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 So like just Dune, checking. Dune, but also 70s Star Wars style, so everyone's got feathered bangs and shit. Yes. And tight polyester pants. Tight polyester pants. <laughs> so like, is it like Barbarella? Not uh, that. Barbarella meets Florence of Arabia? Possibly, yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And some like faux fur. If we can have faux fur, that'd be awesome. All right. Even though it's a desert. So we're so in the like, 1970s. Like Tina Turner and Thunderdome. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I was gonna bring up Mad Max. I was like, oh, you're kind of Okay. Cool. So now, um, at the at the heart of Hearts Blazing, I feel really bad saying that uh, we are a group. We are a team of people who are fighting against someone. So we need to know who we're fighting against. Does anybody have any ideas of who the antagonists are? Who are the bad guys, the people that we need to defeat? I'm going to say that they are 
intergalactic slavers. Ugh, oh, slavers. Who uh, capture people and suck all the water out of them. Ooh. Oh. Because that's, that's what they're worth. So they're intergalactic uh, water poachers, AKA slavers. So, we water call them world, the slavers. Water world meets Mad Max. It's opposite <laughs> water world. Yeah, opposite water yeah. world. Yeah. It's ice pirates. Go, oh, gotcha. But. They 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 pro they capture people and process them into water, oh. so it's very it's super brutal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are so they like us type people? Ninety percent or like eighty percent water, whatever our water I is. I don't know. I, let's. I think that uh, the antagonists are not. They're only like twenty percent water. Oh man, so sad. That's why they need. <laughs> that's why they need our water because we're mainly water. Okay. Um, which makes it harder for us to live in this desert, but also is why we're very bad. Are we mainly water? Aren't we? That's what I'm Are asking. We? That's what I was asking. Are, Are we? we? I don't know. That's something to develop. One of the other uh, really important things is not to, to add too much detail to the world, or else you, you kind of uh, cut off choices later on. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So we know where we are. We know who we're fighting. We need to know... Um, what is it that allows us to fight them? What is special about, oh, and I'm the caretaker of the antagonists. So we need to know what is it about us that allows us to fight these interstellar water pirate slavers? What skills or technology do we have that separates us from normal people? It could be giant robots. It could be huge robots. It could be big robots. Salt licks. Mecca. <laughs> salt licks. Salt licks. Terrible idea. Did you say salt licks? <laughs> salt licks. Well, I was going to say all... bloated and keep all our water to ourselves. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just saying. Salt lick robots. Oh, I think. Oh, okay. Salt lick robots. <laughs> salt lick robots. <laughs> Giant necks made out of salt. <laughs> yes. All right. Salt. Okay. That's how the we fight part. off the, the, salt <laughs> the, people, the slavers with all the salt who already don't have water. <laughs> okay, Tony, you're in charge of the technology. And the salt bucks. So like you're in charge of the salt box. I'm on it. I think you need to come up with a better name, Tony. You gotta come up with a better name. I like the salt aspect though. Maybe it's like, maybe the salt part of it is that the the fusion reactors that drive the robots are like a type of radioactive salts that are mined. We call so them like dehydrinators or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ready? I'm writing down dehydrinators. Dehydrinators. Like, dehydrinators. Oh, yeah, the, the dehydrinator is overheating. Get the hydro spanner or whatever. I like that. Uh, dehydrinators. And um, okay. we also need to understand who the organization is that we're part of. What is the group that we either work for or work with um, to fight back against the intergalactic water poachers uh, with our salt <laughs> robots? No, they're dehydrinators. Salt robots. <laughs> dehy I thought dehydrinators. Okay, sure. <laughs> say we would be like tribal mercenaries tribal mer okay so are we a tribe of people or are we mercenaries, mercenaries who work for tribes no a tribe of mercenaries. okay cool all right so we're part of some kind of tribal mercenary structure um and jasmine you're going to be in charge of that organization okay. when we have questions about like well who's giving us commands or what's their plan tribal mercenaries an s or a d jasmine oh s Okay, and then uh, the last person, uh, which is going to be Kate, you get to be in charge of all of the supporting cast. Uh, throughout oh, the game... My dream! Game. No, 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 you have this. So you have a deck of cards that are different archetypes of mm -hmm. supporting cast characters. Things like coaches, pets, ex-lovers, you know, red barons. Like, when they come up in the episode and the episode references a supporting cast member, we're going to look to you to give that character some depth. And that's okay. just, and when we have a question about, well, where does the, how, why does the bookworm know all this stuff? Mm -hmm. Or where does the bartender get any of the liquor by which we survive? Oh my uh, that's going to be your job to like, answer that. Literally my life dream. <laughs> like, just come up with random snippets. Of yeah, yeah. Stuff but that's why you have an entire, that's why you have an entire And, you know, Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's all set. We've got our world, and that was pretty quick. I think that took about 10 minutes and half of a gin and tonic, which is about what I like. So, um, <laughs> the, 
The next thing we need to do is we need to figure out who we each are. There's five different archetypes. The archetypes are the leader, the engineer, the rookie, the ace, and the veteran. And those are largely self-explanatory. Veteran is a very experienced soldier. And they're all basically about how you solve problems. The veteran solves problems leaning on his experience. The ace solves problems leaning on his tremendous skill. The engineer solves problems with her exhaust uh, list knowledge. The leader has vision um, and planning that goes beyond what other people have. Uh, the rookie just has raw talent and bravado. So if any if any of these archetypes are speaking to anybody, speak up. That's okay. Rookie. Boom. So you get the rookie card and you get the rookie deck of cliches. Aww. You always oh, have okay. access to this deck and use them to this full of cliches. I'll just leave with the ace. Ace? Yes. All right, Ace Pilot. You always gotta look from the bright side. I will take the veteran. <laughs> oh no, shoot, it's I should have spoken up before. Yeah, bravado. I'm the best. So, so there's, the, there's the veteran. Thank you. I'll be the engineer. You'll be the engineer? Okay. Is, is not, is, do, you, do you really want to be something else? So the squad leader is someone who is more like um, a ground That's level something. lieutenant, right? It's not necessarily a Kirk or Picard, although Kirk and Picard went on way too many away missions. <laughs> uh, but it is, is what it is. Okay, so these are our archetypes, and it tells you a little bit about them, and it also gives you a deck of cliches. Cliches are the things that you're going to be bidding on each episode, and there are three negative uh, values in this deck. Are which, we allowed to look at Yeah, you cliches? always have access to that entire deck Excellent. every time until you spend those cards. Now we need to figure out why we're doing the things we're doing, and for that there are five different motivations. There's the opportunist, the survivor, the avenger, and the uh, guardian, and the savior. Uh, and they all relate to different levels of selfishness. The opportunist is just out for themselves. The savior is out to save everyone. The survivor just wants to survive. They're largely pretty self-explanatory. Would you like me to deal these out randomly, or should we choose them? Randomly, randomly, yeah, randomly. 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 Okay, randomly something. <laughs> randomly. It is. You don't have to randomly. show anybody what it is. Can I look at it? Wait, I want to choose it. Names, 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 names. What's your character's name, Brenda? What's your character's name, Tony? Do we need first and last name? First, last name. No, you just first and last. You just need a first name. What's our name? Where's that Facebook post when you need them? Handle. It could be a handle. Yeah. My character's <laughs> name is Crash Flanagan. Crash Flanagan. That's my last yes. name. Wow. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Subconscious. Your last name is What's Crash Flanagan? Name? Close. My name's <laughs> Crash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My character's name is Rex Backbone. Oh. Nine. Uh, okay. So what you should do Wait, is your name? take this Crash. index card. Crash, Crash Flanagan. Mm -hmm. uh, a useful use of the index card is to write your character's name on it. So I'm going to be. Nice. Does anybody take like Rex Steelman? No, I took no. Rex. Shit. Uh, Sorry. Wait, what was your character? Uh, Rex is Rex Backbone. Brock. W R E X or R E X? I'm Brock Steelwater. Nice, dear bird. And uh, it's you not a bad that idea. Before. Brock Steelwater, I look like Glenn Close. <laughs> so it's not a bad idea to be like, ah, oh, I kind of look like this popular person or this actor, something that we can all easily visualize. Um, and also to write the name of your character on the top. It's uh, not a bad idea to write what your character's archetype is and then a little name that's a description of who you are. And that will allow us to more easily reference who each of us is uh, when we're um, in the shit. You're putting your archetype on there? Yeah, why not? Okay. I mean, you don't have to. It's not a terrible idea. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like picking names. It's hard. It's like picking favorites. Your name is Jet. No, my name is not Jet. Your name is Daphne. No. Your name is Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> your, your name... Your name is uh, J-Bot, because you're a robot. I'm not a Ooh. robot. You're not a robot. Your name is Glocknar, because you're okay. an alien. I've decided my character's name is Sakina Juggernaut. Nice. Sakina Juggernaut is pretty good. Sakina Juggernaut. Your name is... Oh, right. I'm is, not your uh, Bill O'Reilly. No. <laughs> your name is... I'm going to be Jeff Daniels in True Grit. 
Chef Chip. Oh, nice. Oh, Looking pretty good. good. Lots of stars. All right, Brenda. All nice. eyes are on you. Oh God, you just need to so think hard. of any name. So just, you're so you're placing too much. Your name is Lime Tonic. No. Ooh. Your name is <laughs> Drink Waterson. No. Your name is uh, Chest Dickerson. No. Your Captain is, Codpiece. Uh, your name is. <laughs> it's so uh, difficult. I don't like this. Mid Thrust General Codpiece. Thrust Hard Chest is a good name. Mint Julep. Your name is Mint Julep. That's your call. Oh, no. Your call sign is like Mint that. Julep. That's it. You're done. Mint Julep. Yes. Your name is Mint. Your first name is Mint. That's what my character name. looks like. Okay, your first name is Mint. That's a lesson. Browbeat people. Don't don't browbeat people. That's terrible. It's terrible. But I feel like I was really trying to go for like non-binary gender, so I feel like Mint would Mint be Mint Julep is that's pretty good. Mint Julep is good. Yeah, okay. Mint Julep. good. Oh, that's another important note. Thanks, like, everybody. Uh, yeah, we don't right, yeah. Uh, we don't tolerate that horse shit. Like you're binary genders. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna be a dick about uh, another person's uh, lifestyle choices or lifestyle whatever it is, identification, um, you're not welcome to this game. Wait, I'm missing someone's name. No, we oh, put our names on this. By the way, she is oh, like Isabella from Dragon Age. I don't know if you guys have yes. played that game. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, yes. which one is Isabella? Yeah. The pirate. Oh, sure. Who is, Dragon Age um, 2. Oh, with the, yeah, okay. You know, you can have threesome with her in the first one, and then, you know, do all this other stuff. She's, I like her. She's, I love her. You know, she's, she's a, a, Nice. All right, so now we're set up. We all have our motives. We have uh, that we are in a 1970s alien desert, some kind of Arrakis slash Tatooine type planet. We're being hunted or fighting back against intergalactic water pirates. Uh, who are looked to enslave people, uh, suck all the juices out of them, and uh, use that to survive. And uh, we have salt bots called dehydrinators that allow us to fight back. And yeah, so we're some kind of trouble we're serious. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over the pilot episode, and the pilot episode is gonna have a couple bits of information on it. First, it's gonna have the name of the episode. It's gonna have a bit of a story prompt that'll tell us kind of where we're starting. It'll indicate which character is the in-focus character, and those that's the character who's gonna set the stage for the episode. They're gonna give a little bit of description of like, well, you know, the scene opens here, and you know, we're in a desert hut, and blah, blah, blah is happening, and yada, yada, yada. There, if you think about it in TV show terms, like the, everything that happens before the first commercial break um, is guided by, but not dictated by the in-focus character. Everyone else should contribute to that, but, Again, like with caretakers, the, the thumbs up, thumbs down is for that in-focus character. When we get to a point where we know what the conflict is, anybody who wants to is going to grab this commercial break card and flip it over, and we're going to go to our first commercial break. And when we come back from that commercial break, which is nothing happens during the commercial break, everyone's going to contribute to uh, what's happening. We're gonna talk about the story, we're gonna create the story off the top of our heads. We're all gonna make sure that each of our characters checks in. We're gonna advance the conflict uh, in some way, um, build in the story, have dialogues, have improvs, or, or not, or go through it relatively rapidly. And when we feel like we've gotten to a point where we need to make a real uh, decision as to how the conflict is gonna resolve, someone's gonna flip the commercial break again. We'll go to our second commercial break, and when we come back, the character who, the person who has been the high bidder on that episode will have the narrative control. So, I'm gonna flip over the first card. It's a pilot episode. The pilot episode is called Now or Never. In focus is the rookie. And the story prompt is, it's all a blur, or more specifically, a boom, but now you're here at the helm of a terrible machine and your family is counting on you. The first place awards are triumph and endurance, and the second place awards are honor. So you can bid face down, none, one, or more than one card for this. Our goal as a team is to beat the episode number that this is. This is episode number one, so all we need to do is get one point down on the board in order to narrate a successful conclusion to this event. And are our points the ones in the lower right-hand corner? That's correct. You'll notice you have some negatives in there. Those are for introducing negative character traits about yourself. Uh, like maybe your character is a drunk or a womanizer or a racist or they've got a bum knee. It doesn't have to be super dire, but it's the kind of thing that should negatively impact your team's performance in some way. And if you are holding them at the end of the game, they take away from the cures that you have earned. So they make it harder for you to quote unquote win at the end of the game. So 
You need to meet it. Right? We, need to, we need to get one point or more down on the board. Mm -hmm. Now, do all of our points count towards, or is yep. it just... We okay. add them all together. Awesome. So, like, you might put down some negatives, and I might put down a positive, and they might and balance they out. Yeah. And we put them down face down? Put them face down, and we're all going to flip them over. really trying hard to make sure I don't spill this. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have to, you don't have to put a card down. Um, all right, so if everyone's put in, does yeah. everybody put in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So the cliches that are on these cards are not, uh, all right, we did it. Okay, so we've got, we added all up, we've got one point, which is what we need for the first episode. We got a negative from the veteran and a negative from the ace. Uh, so that means that all of the first place characters, which are us three, are going to be the high bidder, and we are each going to collect those keywords. So we're, we're going to get triumph and endurance. The way I like to do it is just write triumph and endurance, and then start putting hash marks next yeah. to them. And then you guys, with a negative value, actually get the second place award, which is honor. Oh. Yeah, so you can get... Oh, okay, all right. This is right? making sense now. Okay. okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. around episode three, it'll all show to click, and I'll be able to shut up. Or you could just... Those are fine. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> so the in-focus character is the rookies. So we're setting the stage. Where are we? What's going on? Doritos. Dinner. We're on the Doritos mm -hmm. planes. Mm -hmm. Is that Doritos planes? Um, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> really an opportune time to shove your face. Um, well, basically, my character is just kind of sitting here. She just kind of got thrusted into this kind of by choice. Wait, but, you know. stop. One second. So do we have to use the themes of the... You don't have to. Those okay. are there. So everything in this game is supposed to be a tool or a shortcut if you don't have a better idea. Okay, mm -hmm. just checking. Um, Continue. Sorry, rookie. So yeah, where are we? What's going on? What's, what is the world around She's you? She's at the helm of this machine of some kind. She doesn't even know what it is yet. Um, I'm still kind of new here, mm -hmm. um, but she's just working on it. She's got some piloting experience, some kind-ish, um, but she's really just kind of winging it right now. It's kind of how she does things. It's worked so far. So I think, that, but meanwhile outside, it's like there's a village where uh, everything is exploding. You know, the, it's the, these, the pirate raiders have come to sack the village that you grew up mm -hmm. in. And um, there's like a there's like an ancient machine that's been in your village for a long time that no one's ever used, and you ran there to hide, but all of a sudden it kind of comes to life, yeah. and that's like now you're a little bit safe, but now you're at the oh, helm of this. It's like Garen Logan. <laughs> 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 and, but you know, she's just trying to make sure that most of the explosions are coming from someone else and not herself. And oh she's yeah, sitting yeah, here yeah, in yeah. this machine, do you, do you, like do you, do you, she doesn't know what she's doing. Just, like, like she's just like, oh chair. my gosh. Here I am, like she doesn't even know how to get out right now. She's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. inside yeah. this thing and she's just kind of winging it. Is it, a, what, is it a giant robot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your desert town is blowing up. Does anybody else want to check in with where they are or do they have any ideas that they want to add to this setting for this scene? Yeah, I would say that the, um, so unfortunately Sakina's stuck in this giant robot <laughs> and then another robot hops into the scene, which there's the antagonist robot destroying her village and Sakina in her robot and then another robot that nobody seems to know and no one has noticed yet coming along and Sakina can't really tell as the rookie is this people destroying her village or is somebody maybe trying to help her? All right, I think, does anybody else have anything to put in? I think that the appearance of that third robot uh, is a good place to take the first commercial break. <laughs> Okay, so we've come back from the commercial break. Well, I'm just that you went into a commercial break. We went into a commercial break. <laughs> uh, just in time for the camera to run out of a battery or whatever. Uh, and so we take a little pause and then when we come back, everyone's gonna get involved in this discussion uh, and, and in, the, in the episode. So when we left, the rookie, Sakina Juggernaut, was in an ancient machine from her village uh, that got powered up and there was some uh, space pirate mecha that had landed to like square up against her 
but at the last second, a, another uh, machine had appeared, and that's, that's where we cut off. So does anybody want to jump in? Don't all speak at once. <laughs> I think inside the uh, inside Sakina's cockpit, there starts to be some kind of garbled communication that's being heard yeah. that that you've never heard before. I'm not sure if I'm just freaking out to the point where I'm hearing noises, or maybe I pressed a button and like yeah. I'm like, is, is someone talking to me? Like, how do I make this work? Okay. Like, just... So I think at, like the button presses are happening. And there's some kind of language that there's maybe like two languages that are coming over the communication. One is the like the guttural alien pirate language that you recognize from all like your nightmares and stuff. But the other sounds like another person. And it's just like asking you, you know, like who are you? How did you get this machine? And and like, you know, are you friend or foe? And and, and that kind of thing. That's I, what I I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. <laughs> How I got the machine, um, I was hiding behind it, and now here I am. Um, and I'll be your friend as long as you don't hit me in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> okay. Just... So also through the communications, you hear uh, some instructions from someone who are like, "Okay, here's uh, if you want to live, this is what we've got to do." Uh, the the ice pirates are vulnerable on their rear quadrant, so we're gonna need to get them in between the two robots. I need you to stand over by. The, the last hut that's not burning. That involves moving. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, can you tell me how to do that? You don't know how to pilot us? What part of I appeared in here <laughs> is not like <laughs> expressed? Oh, geez Louise. Okay, so I think that it cuts to the cockpit of another, of, of the, the third robot that appears. Mm -hmm. And um, boop, boop, boop. Brock Steelwater, is there like, like trying to direct what's going on and uh, uh, Min Julep, the engineer, is also there and I'm like, you gotta help us out. Like, I can't, I can't do this and tell her how to pilot a machine at the same time. I need you to get on the comms and handle this. So Crash comes stomping in in his robot, and he's Thank like, goodness. listen, Ruck, first I want you to take a deep breath and relax. And, all right, so there's a knob there that looks like a big cl clown nose. So honk that a couple times. I feel like red buttons are, like, avoided at all times, but trust, okay. Trust, trust me. Not in this trust me. Not in this apparently, apparently not in this robot. Red clown nose, okay. Listen, you've overheated your actuators. you got to flush coolant to your uh, dehydrogenator. Dehydrogenator. Probably. Yes. Just push, trust me, just just <laughs> knock the clown nose, he'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> the alarms go off, you know, you're stabilized now. It's like, see, you know, just remember your training. Just just relax, there, take a deep there, breath, that's key. That's all you need to do here. Crash, was that your name? It's Crash. There is no training. Um, and maybe you missed the calm discussion. Um, I just appeared <laughs> in here. Uh, I was hiding behind it, and now I'm in it. All right. um, so, but thank you for the the, the, the button. Brock thing. comes over the mic and be like, "No training. How how did this? How, how did they ever do it? <laughs> permitted this thing to happen? <laughs> this should not be allowed." Yeah. Uh, uh, crash, crash, get in there. You gotta, you gotta stop this. <laughs> she, she's gonna do more damage than he is. <laughs> the engineer told me to press a button. <laughs> Mint was just, you know, mint julep, sorry. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm pretty sure I killed someone. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All 
All right, so I'm gonna interject with a veteran and I'm going to um, shoot, come like running at you and you're gonna be like, oh my God, what's going on? But I'm actually shooting whatever is being what up like behind me. Oh, okay. Oh. And I'm going to drunkenly slur something over oh. the <laughs> intercom because yeah. I am drunk right now. Drunk and driving a robot. Drunk and driving my robot, but I'm awesome nice. because I'm a veteran. And I know how to do Don't drive your robot, John. <laughs> Don't drive your robot. You drive better when you're drunk. Right, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You gotta dig that edge off for the combat. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. She seems like shit. The PTSD is <laughs> kicking in. Yep. Ha <laughs> Good time. Okay, so so the veteran's robot comes in, uh, shoots another robot that was behind you that you didn't even know was there. There's still that first robot, but Crash maybe is coming in and taking care of it, and then there's... Uh, oh, he comes in just like punch. Yeah. yeah just like, <laughs> just like maker. rocket from the elbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like Power Rangers. So. Gypsy Gator style. Yeah, give him the old salt fist. <laughs> So uh, ice, like a, a water pirate robot uh, gets knocked out, another one gets shot behind you, and we can go to another commercial break. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Because now we have like six robots. Is yeah. All, just no, all the robots. I think there's five. No. One, two, yeah. three, and then me and you are in the command robot. Yeah, but then there is the, there's at least one, two, two, there's five. The one that there's was two enemies, and then four five. good ones. Yeah. But with yeah. her robot, so we can finally form right, Voltron. Yeah. <laughs> so. Maybe that is gonna happen. Out of us. <laughs> no, that's definitely gonna happen. Yeah, no, this, is, this is on its way. Yeah. yeah. There's some, some yeah. constructor com bullshit. Dehydrinators. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. There's the dehydrators <laughs> and the rehydrators. Dehydrators. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, the high bidders, uh, which is going to be us three, mm -hmm. uh, we get to we get to dictate how the episode is going to end because we had a successful um, bid. We get to end. We get to win this episode. The team gets to come out. Otherwise, it would have to not come out of it. It would have to be in a worse position. So let's come back from the commercial break. Yes. So the robot behind you, the robot behind uh, the Sakina blows up, and the veteran uh, drunkenly collides into you. <laughs> this is robot on robot action, yep. which is not helping you be a better pilot. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> this is not helping the situation, but thank you okay. for killing that robot. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, so, uh, Brock starts, uh, Commander Brock start, gets back in touch with you over the comms and is like, no, that's, that's okay, it's just her, that's just how she does. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. You know what? Just, just stay down. We've got this under control. I'm trying to keep you calm and... No, I can and, totally do this. Okay. I got this. You it's can fine. totally stay calm. Okay. Yeah, we got this. I, uh, like, so do I keep pressing the red button, or am I good? Am I done now? Oh, don't push it again. Okay, well, whatever good. you do, yeah. don't push that yeah. again. No, now you, now you want to push the blue button. The blue button hits yeah, now the blue button. No, that's the missile button. Missile button. Yeah, the Not that blue button, the other blue button. Don't, don't is it like a dark blue? blue? I'm seeing it's the, like, the you know, the, no, no, the no, periwinkle no. blue. Everyone, it's, it's, open your keypads. Open your keypads. It's on, it's underneath the Thank console you. on the left. Underneath, Thank you. Not underneath the green wire. Underneath the blue wire. Look underneath the blue wire, everyone. Everyone, on the count of three, we're going to press the following sequence. Ready? Yes. Does everyone yeah. know the alphabet? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, ready? Mostly. It's one, two, three. It's not an alphabet. Four, five. Okay. Okay. Who are you people? We pressed the one, two, three, four, five sequence. <laughs> the ancient code of our of our ancestors. No, that's my, that. no, that's yeah. my password. I better, yeah. should probably change that. Change your luggage. <laughs> <laughs> so the other, I, the other water pirate uh, robot um, knows that they're completely outmatched by our superior skills, <laughs> <laughs> and they're scared off, and, and uh, uh, flies away. They fly away. They just, like, boost out and, yeah. and they jump away. So, ten minutes. So that can be the episode. Yep. Yay! Deep gushy cut. All right, episode two. Yes. Shadow play. In focus is the engineer. You couldn't choose supporting character. You're gonna have to give us a supporting character. You shouldn't choose whomever over the mission. But the heart wants what the heart wants. If we can't have love, what are we even fighting for? First place, endurance and safety. Second place, justice. Hmm. Should I put out the... You should bid what you're going to bid. 
Oh, okay. Oh, and if you have an idea for who the supporting character yeah. is, yeah, go for it. Should I just put it down? Sure, why not? The ex-lover. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's thematic. It doesn't have to be the engineer's ex-lover. It could be someone else's ex-lover. What do we need for this? Two? two we points. need two points, two points. all together. Um, Everybody in? Yep. All right, so we're gonna flip over. What's our combined bid? I put down fuck Minus all one. of you. I put down two. I put down two, thank God. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. No, we, did it to no, we don't. No, no, so no, we, no. we fail this episode with a one. <laughs> uh, so we shouldn't choose uh, whomever. Wait, why is it? Because negative one, negative one, negative, negative one, one, plus two, plus two. Yes. So four minus four. three is but one. But we needed a two. Oh, you needed two, okay, sorry. The threshold sorry. for the episode is two. Do All right, so this is going to be an unsuccessful <laughs> episode. Yeah. Early on. Despite some of our best efforts. <laughs> uh, but um, the engineer gets to lead us off. Do you feel like you understand the prompt? I think so. Hold on. All right. Uh, you should choose opposition. All right, so... So we open the we open the episode. Yes, we're opening the episode. We are in space. Ooh. So we have left the village. We are in space. Okay. It's good wine. Good wine. Okay. It's, it's good to know. Good wine helps. We are not story getting paid for that. No. <laughs> helps the story along. Um, we are now in space, and all of the uh, the four robots of the same team, or we're all in space together. And come to find out that a fifth robot is coming along behind us, and we believe that it's Rex's long lost love from a drunken mishap on planet Asosmos. Yep. Okay. So definitely the right time of Asosmos. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great way to say Osmosis. <laughs> Asosmos? Asosmos. Like, okay. like a like sauce, like liquor is the sauce, mm. like osmosis. <laughs> so, uh, are we like going back? Are we going back to? Is it a satellite? Is it a ship? Like, what are? Is it? Is it an interstellar ship? We are actually trying to travel back to a planet that we've seen before that resembles our alien desert planet, but is not actually the alien desert planet that we want to be at. Are all the desert? Are all the planets deserts? No. No? Is, no. It, is it like the water planet is like mythical? Yes. Yeah! With turtles, like sea turtles. Most of, the planets, turtles. most of the planets are deserts. Yes. And are almost barely habitable. Yes. Gotcha. Which is and why water pirates are a problem no matter what planet where we go. Yes. Mm. yes. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're all going to dock. We dock one, two, three, four. We brought your. Uh, your we ancient blew mecca, on those mechas because there's no, there's nothing left of your village, right? Because mm -hmm. it's all been destroyed. Uh, and we dock, and, and you're now you're part of this crew. But then one, two, three, four. What's this fifth mecha that that's coming up? And then that's commercial break. Commercial break. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I really was gonna. I wanted to say that all of our ships join together to make one big mecha. Like massive oh, yeah. 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 No, 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 it's fine. So we come back from the commercial break. Um, the leader, um, uh, Brock Stillwater, has uh, disembarked and is uh, trying to get things prepared for our new ally, uh, Sakina, who, despite their inexperience, uh, is going to be a valuable asset to our fight uh, against the water pirates who have been a plague on all of the planets. Yeah, I totally hit someone with that rocket that I yeah, you did. accidentally was, you hit a lot of things <laughs> with that rocket. But um, yeah, I'm just I'm trying to get everything. Uh, I'm working with the logistical people to to find like a bunk and stuff like that. And then I hear word of this of this fifth uh, mecha coming in that was completely unexpected. Uh, where's everybody else? So crash is. Sitting in his underwear, playing cards. He's got all his clothes, everything he owns on the table. <laughs> and there's a bet going on, so he, he, he's just wagered his mullet, which is his prized possession. Yes. And, and those are the stakes. Is it so. or yeah. is it just oh, like it's you're going to shave it off? All mullet. Oh, he's just gonna, it's just going <laughs> to cut right across, uh, and so, uh, he'll have to lay it down, and he's so, hoping it doesn't come to so that. So who else is at the table? Sakina. Definitely yeah. Rex. Okay. Sakina's oh, there too. 
Definitely. Might not be a great pilot, very good at gambling. Oh, okay. Or they think they're very good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he thinks he's an so, amazing gambler, <laughs> so which is why he's sitting in his underwear right Zakina, now. Zakina, Rex, and Crafts are at the table. Yes. Yeah. And That's Zakina cool. is also hoping to get some information about how to fly these things and control them mm -hmm. out of these two who are looking like they might not be the best choice. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be in a real like, well, I know how to fly, but if you want to go ahead and tell me, you, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. Well, at the like, card like, table, you're yeah, the easy like mark. Yeah, and I will let anyway. you keep your mullet while you tell me how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Tulip is eating cotton candy and watching all of this go down. Okay. All right, so if you guys are gambling, I'm, I'm going to let the fifth mecha, uh, because it doesn't seem to be showing any hostile activity and you know at the very least what's going to happen is they're going to dock and we can you know we've got enough guns to to take whoever it is captive aboard our ship and then it's just a new mecca for us so as the um uh as we let them dock and they disembark it's like oh crap it's rex's x rex's x text. this is good rex's x Ooh. text <laughs> text it's very bad phone is number text, no. and tell them you live go far, it. far away. Just go with it. <laughs> is text wearing a... Just chaps. No. <laughs> so, like, Only if they're bedazzled. Are they bedazzled chaps? Oh, they're bedazzled. She's just wearing a bikini top that's also bedazzled. Okay. And so bikini like, bottom yeah. or with the no, that's, with that's, chaps? That's, yeah, well. standard nice. space wear. Yeah. 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 Uh, Oh, it's like, what's her face? And Gurren Logan, we're really keeping yes, up with that. Yes, yeah. So let's just make her redhead. And so yeah. uh, I, let, I let them on board, but I give them the stink eye. Like, not again. Not this time. <laughs> not again. I need them in fighting shape. <laughs> and then we go to commercial break. Commercial break. Uh, All right, so me and you are in charge of the... Okay, the text situation. Okay, so Tex comes on board and ingratiates himself with the with the crew. Yeah, she's a, she's she's old and popular. Well, not old, but well, she's mature yeah. of age. No, no, I wasn't talking about. That. I mean, like she has a. I was trying to say she has a history with the crew. Oh yes, right? absolutely. Like, and yes. so she like, comes and goes, breaking hearts all the time. Mm -hmm. Yours being the one that she, yes. whose heart she breaks the most. Yes. Sorry, Crash. Sorry. <laughs> Crash doesn't get. As long as I get to keep my mullet on. Mullet? That's all I care about right now. What? <laughs> so, no, it's the Kino one. No, okay. So what <laughs> happens? No, no, no. What, <laughs> what, happens <laughs> what happens is that your yeah. your communicator starts blinking. It's like burr, 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 burr. you're involved in in this uh, in this gambling. Oh, thing. gotcha. So yeah. Okay, I see where this is going. So then she's just gonna like barge in to where we're all playing cards. Oh, okay. All right. She's just gonna like do one of these to you, and then you're gonna be chasing her. No, you got it here. You need to sign the visitor log. She sees a scantily clad <laughs> crash and becomes very jealous of the fact that Rex is like yeah. playing oh. what seems to be like strip poker mm. with, oh, with yeah, two like other that. people. I like that. And, and yeah, Skibbies, yeah. So. Oh, that's right. And okay, here that's we right. have. So the the. Do you fold or do you do? You... Oh, I let that play out, and then I like take the pot and start putting my pants back on. And, Sorry. Yeah. She's gonna try and swing at me. Oh. I take a good, just guns blazing. This yeah. is how Tex is, and she's just gonna take a swing at me, and then I'm just we're just gonna kind of tussle, and everybody's just gonna. Oh, yeah. I think oh. what's negative about this episode is that at the end of the episode, you both end up in the brig, both Tex. Yeah. And sure. Because really, yeah. what I found was mm. epic. With and you, and you! See? Because Gamble is not allowed to board this ship! <laughs> wait, wait, what is it? We're going on my <laughs> ship that are not fly from now on, okay? Don't well, listen maybe, to yeah, that. No, maybe, yeah. maybe that's also something that happens is that you're weirdly jealous of all of this. Yeah. I mean, wow. You're the new heartbreak for Dex. Mm. Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that can be the end of the episode. So that's why that episode bombed. Yeah, because it was text So that's the, that's the end of that episode. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, trial right, by right. fire, in focus, the rookie. Your first year old mission, exclamation point. Whoa. Even in such a short time, you've come so far. Now it's your chance to show everybody that you have what it takes to fight alongside the myth only supporting character. Wasn't watching your every move. Could be a new supporting character. 
It could be text from the last episode. Oh, text, oh did we score that? Text, text to X. Well, no, we, we lost. failed that. We lost. Oh, we so we don't get the score. score. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. You still get the sc- you still get the award from it. Right. Yeah. Did we score that? So you, I don't think we scored that. Everybody who was second place got justice. Everyone who was first place got endurance and safety. Oh. If only supporting character wasn't watching your every move. For this episode, triumph and endurance are the first place awards, and the second place is honor. It's our, it's, that makes perfect sense. You are the best supporting character <laughs> coach, uh, caretaker that we've ever had in this game. It is the hardest fucking role in, in the game. So, Zakina Oh, wait, is... no, 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 we need to bed. We need to bed. Oh, oh yeah. sorry, oh, my bad. Yeah. I got so excited that I just wanted to go. Uh, wait, I didn't even listen to the episode. I'm sorry. Trial by Fire, the rookie's first mission. Why is the supporting character watching their every move? This right. one's a three, right? This one is a three. They just, they don't, they never get easier. But, you know, so it's always gonna be one more. I am putting in two cards. Everybody bid, everybody bid, everybody bid. Calm the hell down. Oh, oh, I don't want to leave this for a while. But you put in two? You can put in zero, yeah, you can put in, zero, put in none, one, or more than one. <laughs> what if I didn't mean this one? Can I take it back? Take it back. Yes. Right now. Come on. Right, it's not too late. Quick, quick. Quick like a bunny. Quick like a bunny. Wait, 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 wait. God damn it, mint julep. I got it. <laughs> All right. What do we got? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, the minute Tony figures out how to flip over a card. What are you doing? Uh, you're Freaking like an ace. eight person. Freaking ace. Uh, so I have a net of zero. Three. Here. We have three. We have three. And I have four. Whoa. You, have, you put in four points. Oh, damn. Yeah, four and then and a one. minus one, so that cancels out. So and two and six. Okay, so we definitely succeed this episode. So okay. second. Zero G-spot. Who gets first? <laughs> <laughs> you, get. you know what? That's second everyone's favorite so card. <laughs> and <laughs> and it's, it's like a lot of people. Really one, you put two, so oh. three, four. Yeah, so I don't Next know. Okay, you're right. I but zero G spot. I know what should I'm be pretty, done with that though. Okay, so who got the most? Who put down the most points? So you're gonna get the first place award. Who put down the second most amount of points? All right, so you get the second place award. Now, do I actually have to follow things on here? No. That's just a backup. These are guidelines. Okay, got it. You can Sorry. use it. You can, you can mine use it. it. You don't you have can to mine it. You can, yeah. yeah. A commonly Squeeze user, the juice out of here. Card is especially impressive in the zero G spot zone. Zero G spot Sorry. is a great card. All right, so <laughs> that's a place to be. Trial by fire and focus rookie, what's going on? So Sakina's up in her little, you know, dehydrogenator, mm-hmm. up in the air. They're going out, they're flying as a team, mm-hmm. and she's not aimlessly pressing buttons. And but she's worried a little bit about Brock not approving. You know, he's on her case a little bit about how she was sucked. And you know, he's like her mentor, her coach, like he's kind of teaching her how to do this because Crash totally failed with the poker thing. Um, sure. And you know, Lots so we're that. all up there, ready to go, just trying to go help more people. We're heading back to the planet we were at before to try to save more villages. You know what? I'm Your gonna put planet? the coach is actually my brother Jeff Steelwater. Okay, I'm good with that. Who's a secondary character, but he's more about developing. Oh, so it has to be a different life. person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean yeah. it could be whatever you want. Mm-hmm. I like. I'm. This is. A, that's how I'm, I'm spinning it. I like, like it. Yeah. Is he Brock's twin brother? <gasps> oh my gosh! Ooh, yes. I like that. Perfect. <laughs> Jeff and I, oh. The reason why she was confused is sometimes she thinks that Brock and Jeff are the same. Oh. So like it's all that's just good. really a lot of pressure either way. All right. So what's the mission? Uh, we're just going back to that village that we basically ran away from to see if there's anybody there. Who your we, village yes. that you destroyed in yeah, your... Yeah, accidentally. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> right. Took out some black guys too. Um, it's a scouting yeah, mission. Yeah, and just try to Doing bring recon. some people back to where their safety. Sure. All right, commercial break. Ooh. And then we come back for the commercial break. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm at the... I'm in the lieutenant's chair or whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm overseeing the sortie that's going on and just checking in with my, with my brother, Jeff, as to how everything's going and, and meddling. And that's kind of one of my problems that I'm a, I'm a bit of a meddler. <gasps> not, <laughs> not, <laughs> no. listen, Julep, you're on your last strike. <laughs> this is your last strike, Julep. Any more cup out of you? 
So uh, I just want you to stick by the mission. You know, just we're gonna go down, we're gonna recon. You need to understand the damage that was caused and see if we can figure out where the water pirates were coming from when they attacked your village. Those are the instructions that I give. Well, you know, Sakina Juggernaut is ready to prove herself. She's gonna go out there. She's got Crash and Rex and the whole team. And hopefully Crash gets to keep his mullet that much longer. And we can, you know, move forward from there. We get back to the village and it's basically gone. There's nothing there. I have a moment of, you know, breakdown. There's a single tear. Mm. You know, it's very Shakespearean. And um, I'm just kind of like out for a little bit dealing with this. Mm. Well, while that's going on, I got beef with you. Because beef with me. you slept with Tex. <gasps> And now I'm drunk. Stick to the mission, guys. <laughs> now I'm drunk. I'll see you and I'm soon mad. mad. And I'm mad. mad. And I'm mad. But then Mint realizes that Crash is actually can actually tell where the water sources on the planets mm -hmm. are if only Crash uses their hair <laughs> as, oh, no. as one of those things. What are they called? The water things. A dowser. A dowser. A dowser. So your mullet is a dowsing mullet. <laughs> but only if you cut it. We've known this. This is what gives us the edge. Because you never fight. wash the mullet. You never so wash. So there's all these particles that are no, still no. in it. You don't understand. It's like Samson. If I cut it off, I lose my edge. Wait, you don't need to cut all of it. Just one strand at a time. Crash. Just one lock. Just Crash, one you lock just of need the to mullet. Cut half of it. <laughs> Sakina goes over and just like cuts off a little bit. What? No. <laughs> you can't just no, 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 no. You no, no, no. robots. No, no, no. Yeah. That's not how that works. <laughs> crash, crash your head, your mullet. It's our only hope. Maybe you just channel it through your mullet. And maybe, <laughs> maybe like, maybe the moisture. It'll move. It's a commercial break. The moisture. <laughs> the moisture. <laughs> maybe the moisture pulls your mullet. <laughs> this way right now. It's gonna and get to the <laughs> Commercial break. All right, we're back from All the right. commercial break. You know what it is? It just takes a bucket of water and just flash dances and just. <laughs> what a huge the waste of water! Of water. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I need the water. The only way to activate the power of the mullet is through the water. Too <laughs> bad there is no water. There's no bucket of water. It's a thimble. Okay, a thimble. thimble there we go. A we, thimble. Yeah, we call thimble thimbles water. buckets. We got gotcha. you. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I've got a, I've got a lead. I've got a reading on our. I'm not cutting off the mullet. I've got a kind of a lead on our, our water source. I think that's why you're so good. Is that they just want to keep cutting off the mullet? No, I won't let them, man. But you won't let them, so you happening. have to like step up yeah. and be great. That's right. You have to be like, listen, we don't need that shit. I'm going to solve this problem. Yeah, we take it to the next level. Yeah. That's why like, you're If you have a problem, we just go around it. Yep. That's, That's why right. you're the ace. That's right. So, so there's, there's Wait, water. but where was Rex? I, I think we missed, we missed Rex in the last, in the bridge. I thought I was out with them. Oh, okay. You are. Yeah. 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 And you're mad. I'm mad. I'm still mad, but I'm trying to cool down and keep focused on the mission, but I'm also really drunk again. Oh. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel when, when Crash finds the water? With his oh, thimble. I think water <laughs> on his it's bucket. It's a bucket? It's a thimble. I think, <laughs> it would, <laughs> I, think I would be a able to forgive him. sized bucket. Oh. Really? So is the water like where we find where the water pirates came from? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna lead us. That's a clue to bring us to, back to their local to go to water. Because they have a base, they yeah, have yeah. to have a local yeah. base of operations, so that's gonna lead so us to. So we backtrack them to that location. Yes. Okay. Keen is very gun ho, wants to get going. She had her moment, you know, of, of grief, and now mm -hmm. she's like, crash, let's go, bring us there, we gotta save some peeps. Yeah, dude, enough, <laughs> enough, enough with this Enough with the, like, herbal essence commercial. Yeah, shit, let's dude. do this. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I think we're gonna arrive. I think we're gonna arrive at the base of the water pirates where they raided from, thanks to your magical hair and magical everyone mullet. else actually doing their job. It's a great commercial. Maybe, maybe yeah. as we. I'm sorry. Oh no, I was just gonna say. I think it's a good place to end. All right. I, yeah, we walk into this base of some kind, and then that's how the episode. Episode four, No Fair Fights. Mm. I like how you just pour pour the drink right into the other drink. Ah, <laughs> uh, you did the same thing. Yeah, you totally did the same thing. 
There's no fair fight people. in Focus the Veteran. You do what it takes to win, according yep. to supporting character. I think you can still be the coach. That makes you no better than the enemy. First place, honor and justice. Second place, endurance. Okay, so wait. Question? Yes. Time out. Yes. Question? Yes. Do we score every round even if we lose? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Uh, the Red Baron. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. That's a twist. Well, you, yeah, I mean, she's no better, or Rex is no better than the. Uh, Rex is no better than the enemy. Yeah. Mm. Than him or her. Them. Hmm. Mm, honor and justice. Ooh, especially dangerous enemy ace. <gasps> well, we did just walk into the uh, the water pirate face. That's true. Yep. Ooh. Sorry. Not sorry. Tricky. <laughs> Hence the red baron part because we're in their base operation. All right. Are we ready? No. Yes. No. Nope. Oh. Rookie, hurry it up. Uh, I well, mean, the rookie had rookie to pick out, to be supportive. The rookie also had to pick out the supporting character right. card, no, so. Okay. All right. Hurry up. Don't show me your cards. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Okay. You're upside down. I like how I make noises and you read them. <laughs> All right. Since I can't. Play. All right. What do we got? Negative one from the leader. Woo! <laughs> Three, four, five, six. I think we're good. So many. Points. Oh, we're totally winning. Yeah, no, yeah. Can okay, somebody use the word bed pillows in this episode? Because I love that word. It's so good. It's pretty Please, good. somebody. Fair warning, like it gets really uh, harder to pass these because it's yeah. really more and harder? more points. Yeah. Every really episode harder. gets harder and harder and harder. Yeah. That was a bad rephrase. I'm sorry. Are you just like riffing off of bed pillows? <sighs> no, we use it really hard. It gets really like, harder. Like he's not an author. <coughs> All right, it in really focus is the veteran. How are we starting? Okay, so we're Rex. starting off, we're still nice. more harder, where we kind of left off diamonds. in the last one. Um, I'm going to play off this card, really. and I'm going to sense some approach from the enemy before anyone else does. Mm. And I'm also going to anticipate the needs of others, so I'm going to kind of just go in guns blazing, even though... It seems like it's totally deserted. Right. But it's not. But it's not. And then everyone else is kind of left wondering, like, Going on. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you running? Because I just kind of like bolt and just run. And I know. Yeah. That's perfect for my frailty because I completely ignored the possible danger. I'm like, listen, they obviously came down, sent the people into the village, and then and then right. abandoned. There's why would they have a base here? Yeah. Boom. I follow you, and not only that, I try to one up you. Okay. So that I am the alpha mullet. All right. Gotcha. <laughs> I think that so <laughs> you're ready to actually do something effective, but he gets in your way, and that's the first commercial break. Ooh, like that. That's good. Do. So you almost blow out the back right. of his head. And then we're back with the commercial. All right, where is everybody? Ah, oh, oh my God, an actual attack. That's something that I hadn't prepared for at all. But I do warn you that there does seem to be someone coming down from orbit to your location. So you, it's not just whatever the gunfire is on the ground right now, but there's some uh, there's some extra element that's going to be added to this battle in, in, in really soon. So you guys got to okay. be prepared for that. Sure. So the engineer's working on all the maps because you guys are all guns, guns blazing everywhere and then happens to notice that the mullet symbol of Crash's <laughs> mech mm -hmm. matches the... Mullet symbol of the incoming mech. And something weird is happening. Oh, is it gonna, okay. Whoa. Where's the rookie? Um, the, good question. <laughs> <laughs> the, rookie, <laughs> the rookie is following the majority of the team because she feels like, you know, at least should stick together. Because mm -hmm. she knows the, the slavers you know, and how they work, and just recently she was one of the people that they would take, so she just wants yeah. to stay with the group. Okay. Okay. What's the veteran doing? Um, I guess we're just kind of like, just killing people. Oh, you know, just casually. You know, what else? Just casually, just casually killing people. Shoot motherfuckers. Casual um, massacre. However, I'm going to actually introduce a flashback sequence. Ooh. Okay. Mm. From my veteran days, and I'm going to play off my other card. Um, old wounds prompt interesting stories. In that, when you were kind of like trying to one up me, 
-hmm. I flash back to a moment when I had another partner who also tried to one up me, and then I ended up killing oh. him. Mm. And that's why I'm like <gasps> such a drunk because I still can't get over it. And I feel like a bromance with you, mm -hmm. like you're right here, but, but it's too I still close can't to get home. over that. I still got PTSD from it's it. Too much. Right, it's too much. Commercial break. There we go. I think I know exactly why you're thinking <laughs> that this is what it is. It's perfect. All right, we come back from the commercial break. Who's the right. who won? You're you won, right? You got no. high bitter. She did. No, it was me. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Get, do you mind if I? If yeah, I just, yeah just do it. <laughs> you, were, you were so excited. No, no, no. Because like, I feel like I know where this is going. We were like nine <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right? I think that that there's all this action going on, and you're like you're doing good. You're holding your own, right? Uh, there's there's mecha that pop up out of the sand that we didn't expect at all, and I'm like, no, oh, fuck, you got bogies coming in from 11:30, and. Like, there's uh, there's like a what seems to be like a meteorite landing right in the middle of all this battle, and out of the dust uh, stands up uh, a a mecha that you haven't seen in years. Years. And it it immediately it stuns you and shocks you, and you're just like, no! Oh, really? Yeah. Was there? That's yep. what I figured. That it was. Well, that's where I thought it was gonna go. I'm just saying, but the no. Yeah. Yeah. Come throw a no in every once in a while. Pain. So, uh, and, and all of a sudden, without, much. because Rex is so shocked and is taken completely out of the battle, like, things start to get really dangerous, especially because whoever this new mecha is, is uh, exceptionally dangerous. It's new mullet mecha. New mullet mecha. New mullet mecha, mm -hmm. yep. Matching. It does, colors. and it's just like right. rainbows. No, it's like in the breeze. It's like a like, mullet of rainbow. Yeah, it's, it's like action. it has there's, like long energy hair blowing in the flow. breeze, but it's all <laughs> like made out of lights and rainbows that are also lasers. It, okay. <gasps> it's a laser mullet. I'll accept that. Laser mullet. Rainbow laser mullet. But it's the flow. But matching. Know, the flow matching laser mullet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like in slow motion, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of lens flares. Yes. <laughs> so Perfect. Sakina is basically just yelling at Rex over the comms, like, snap out of it, like, there's shit here, we gotta take care of, we'll deal with it after, and, like, because no idea what's going, like, she doesn't see, like, she, has, she just sees another mech, like, it's falling, and everybody else is just not doing anything, <laughs> at least Rex isn't, and, yeah, there's nothing special yeah, they're like, I'm just like, it's, uh, it's, what's I get the it, there's a mullet, <laughs> just do the stuff, guys, <laughs> React later. Yeah, whatever, it has pretty hair. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the robot has hair. <laughs> Maybe I can put it on mine later. Like, <laughs> oh, yours doesn't? Trophy. I don't have one. Well, it's a little like space dandy when he gets in like his yeah, yeah. thing with the pop. As long as there's no sound in space, it's fine. It can have space. No, but we're on the planet, so yeah, it's going up. Uh, so, how are we going to end all of this conflict? How, this the episode out? ends with the the rainbow mullet guy basically interrupting all of our comms and saying, you know, I'm back. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say the same exact thing. So all right, that's good. That. Yay. All right, that's the end of the episode. Awesome. It's not good. It's not bad. It introduces an interesting character, rainbow mullet. Rainbow, <laughs> rainbow mullet. Like it's it. like rainbow dash. I like rainbow <laughs> mullet. I like I like Tex. I like Jeff. <laughs> I like our supporting characters, they've been real good. Your twin brother. Yeah. Jeff Stillwater. That um, was two minutes, by the way. That's why, like, he had just said two minutes. You don't see him, I do. He always goes two, and then I am Oh, that's hilarious. You don't see it at all. Right no, I'm not paying attention. Okay. All right. Let me know. So, I was just kind of like, it's over! Yay! <laughs> The first place points. awards were honor and justice. That the second place award was ignorance. Get. I'm pretty sure I was first, right? Yeah. yeah. You were oh, first. Crap. I'm yeah. Incorrectly. What's the matter? It's very different. I don't care about scoring. I care about storytelling. That's All right. Well, then just play mm -hmm. for that. Who yeah. cares? Yeah. I'm just putting half marks on uh, the cards. Participant winner. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so you don't care about the scoring. <laughs> you just care about the story, she but care about you want to be the winner. You're just making it up. <laughs> like you only get, you only get I to score care about those. The story. You only get to score those if no, you no, are the highest No, I was writing player. other people's things. No, it makes sense in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. Watch it. <laughs>
All right, mm, episode get, five, right? Mm -hmm. Avatar five. Episode five, Good Fences, in focus, like Moi, the good. leader. Supporting character claims to be neutral, but it is a hell of a risk to trust strangers with the lives of your crew. Uh, you could pick oh. a neutral character that we already have, or you could add a new one. Uh, first place is endurance and justice. Second place is safety. Safety. Oh crap, oh, is that my turn? Oh, it's tax, maybe. Mm. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, okay, I know exactly where we're going. How many uh, I'm gonna be honest, I had this? a character in mind. We need a five altogether five. to beat it. Meet it or beat it. Wait, That's good a fences? Lot. Yeah. Good fences, in focus the leader. Uh, the X claims to be neutral, but it is a hell of a risk to trust, stranger, trust strangers with the lives of your crew. I you know exactly what I'm doing with this opening. Yeah, I'm sure you do. How What's many that? is this one? Five. Five. Okay. No, I just, it's a good number for the universe. Are we ready? Yep. Yep. All right, go. I put down three total points. I put down six. Put down three. <laughs> <laughs> First place, and we get the second place. So we both get. We well, both I get like the safety. into the core. It's time that we go into the core. Yep. And then, uh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I'll All score right. properly <laughs> this time. I'm sorry. Not really. We didn't get anything crash. All right, I what's almost the total? played my negative one. What's the total? What's I the knew total I should have. Uh, I keep wanting to call you Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. Uh, are we, uh, we beat this episode, right? Mm -hmm. He does okay. in my mind. All right, so. All right. We open up, uh, and it is ten years in the past. Five oh, years in the, five years in the past. Okay. Flashback, five years in the past. Uh, it's a totally different crew. Rex is there, and uh, the the rainbow-haired Mecca is there. Not we don't know who the pilot is yet, but we see them in the in the background in the hangar. Um, uh, Brock uh, Steelwater is there along with Jeff when we're both like uh, middle uh, level. Uh, officers, not captain. Uh, I'm not captain of this group at all. But you've been there forever. I've been there for a really long time. You're brand new, and like what we're seeing is actually the first time that you're coming aboard. And you see like all of these great and legendary like mecha pilots, like the rainbow-haired warrior mm -hmm. and Tex and Rex, who are like an inseparable duo. But this is. Right when we start to get the sense that Tex is maybe not as with our cause as we thought that she was. Like, she's come in from the outside, she's been helping us out, but she's a mercenary. She, just, she doesn't believe in, in our cause of actually, like, liberating people and, and like, trying to build a, a world where everybody could, could be safe. Mm. Um, and so you come aboard... And uh, with the same time, you bring your uh, you bring your partner, who's who helped you build your mecca from scratch, which is uh, mid June. Mm -hmm. And then important question. Yes. Does Crash have a mullet at this point? No. Mm -mm. What? Why? No mullet. Well, no. You have a, you're just a rookie. You're just a rookie. You can't oh, have flashback. A yeah. Rookies yeah. can't have it's, mullet. It's a, a nascent mullet. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Nothing. It's just a rat tail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's the point. Are you going to put a rat tail on right now? Uh, I mean, is it All really right. not much of a downgrade? Like, honestly. It, it really yeah, there is it no really part of that. Yeah. So it kind of is. Right right I know, but okay, I'm just checking. in terms of like a flashback or a side step episode or anything like that, if, you're, if it's like really difficult for you to find a way to get your character in, take that time to add whatever you want to the story. Yeah. Right? So, uh, so let's come back from the commercial break. So at the base of the rat tail is a little skull. <laughs> it's got a little skull to make it badass. That's all. All right. Anyway. A skull with a bow on it. <laughs> I thought about I thought about a bow, but just the skull. Just the skull. Just the skull. Yeah. yeah. All right. I did consider that. Should sell it. I think <laughs> Brock and Jeff at this point are just basically rebellion or not rebellion. Um, 
uh, are just like um, drill sergeants. Mm. And so we're the people who like, when you get off the boat into this station, before you're assigned anything, like we just start fucking laying into you about your hair and about your weird skull <laughs> bone. Like, you know, like we're here to save people's lives. I don't want to see any like fancy pants hair showboating mm. around here. That's me. I'm just yelling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what do you know? <laughs> that's badass. That's, tell me, that's tell called, me what to do. That's called rat tail. It's badass. <laughs> it's badass. You tell and me then, what to do. And then Mid Julep steps up and says, Hey, I know the crash doesn't look like much. <laughs> <laughs> what? But this mech is solid. So and I've seen a lot of pilots. <laughs> and even though he has this crazy rat tail with a skull, I think he can be something. So if you twins can take a chance, I think he's your guy. Brock and Jeff look at each other silently, kind of conferring, using like twin language. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's like twin energy. Like, twin energy. We're like showtime twin energy. Uh, we have a we have a holographic computer that allows us to be a, a girl group. It's great. It's, it's, awesome. awesome. it's amazing. Do you have a song? Do you sing? Do you sing when you twin energy? I might, but I don't want to completely. <laughs> 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 Um, no, 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 no. So, We're no, at the make your point. Quick. I think there's a lot about the mecca that you have come aboard with that, I mean, I don't want to admit it, but we need something like this on our side. The yeah, pirates are one thing, but, the but there's something there's something bigger going on behind the acts of piracy. Mm. Th especially this far in the past, we don't even realize that it's like this organized uh, antagonistic agency. It's just, we just thought it's just simple piracy. This is a, an earlier age when there was more water, there was more civilization, things were generally safer. Mm -hmm. But maybe in the past like five years, we haven't done such a great job and we've let, we've let shit fall apart. What's, uh, where's, what's Rex doing? Um, I'm gonna say that Rex, this is still in the past? Or is it? It could be in the past, yeah. Present, oh, okay. I was just gonna say that Rex is gonna be seen chatting with the rainbow. Okay. Mullet. Still face obscured and stuff, but you can tell that there's like a chumminess. A real camaraderie. Yes. Yeah. Hoping that Rex was having sex with Rex. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that could happen too. It's a makeup sex. It's in the. It's in the past. It's in the past. Oh, it's been, right. it could be a rainbow mullet. Oh fuck you know that. What I mean? It could be a threesome. Oh. I mean, maybe it's just <laughs> rainbow mullet. <laughs> it's a thing. It, uh, there's so many problems. <laughs> <laughs> What would you? That's a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you add to this scenario? Um, I I honestly don't have anything to add here right now. Mm -hmm. I have something in mind, but I'm not. Do you want to take us to a commercial break and yes, yeah. Um, you're on the I just want, I don't, do I have to pick it back up after I do this? Yeah, sure, go for it. No, um, you don't have to, I mean, who got, uh, you got, you get to end the episode. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. I mean, <laughs> I mean, um, We family. all get to participate, but you I get mean, to be the director. I mean, family. Yeah. So, Did you uh, have something? I feel like you had something. Yeah. Yeah, if you have something to pick it back yeah. up. Oh, well, I mean, as far, that? You, there, yeah. we come, well, I mean, as far as a TV show, I don't know how this would make sense to come suddenly pick up being in a battle. After a commercial break. No, that's, yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's great. Okay. That's a great cut. So yeah. we come from sex to fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so we come it's back the and ever. everybody, you know, you're all fighting. You're fighting the different, at the time, just pirates. It can just be like they're sweating faces and then, yeah. then they're sweating faces in different lighting. Oh, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and as we're fighting, you see Rex gets, you know, distracted. And accidentally shoots rainbow, <gasps> rainbow bright oh, mullet, no! and, no. and you know they think that rainbow bright mullet has died, mm -hmm. and then it's the end of the episode. Unless no, uh, no, I'm so sorry. You're not in charge. I took dictatorship here. How are we gonna wrap it up? So rainbow bright mullet takes one, and both Rex and Crash at the same time, at the same time, say no. <laughs> uh oh. There was secretly some relationship there earlier. No. And through their comms, hearing each other say no, 
they realize that they bonded and that the ace and the veteran are no longer so separate. All right. Everybody put in? Yep. So we need to meet a six, right? Fuck all of the mm. people. I put in three. I put in two. I put in two, but they negate it. Negative one. So we're in a five, so this is an unsuccessful mission. Oh. But Actually, the important thing is that I still get well. first place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Second yeah, place endurance and safety. In focus is the engineer, leave us off. Right. So it's come to my attention that. Are we back in the present? We're still in the flashback. We're actually back in the present. Okay. Mm -hmm. Red flashy lights are going. Doo, 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 doo. And it's come to my attention that, unfortunately, one of the dehydrogenators mm -hmm. is going down. Okay. Um, we've lost the radioactive material necessary to make it work. And. Although we have two other robots that are active, this one is critical to defeating because we need three in order to form dehydrated radon. Yeah, obviously. I, and it's the one that takes the two of us to pilot. Yes. Yeah. So it's been completely disengaged from the satellite that we're on? Yes. All right. Uh oh, it's plummeting towards the planet. Mm -hmm. And that's a commercial break. All right, we come back from the commercial break. Uh, you've informed uh, me and everybody else that like uh, dehydro dehydrogenator uh, prime. one prime dehydrogenator dehydrogenator Dehydro prime yes. no dehydrogenator Ron dehydrogenator Ron <laughs> uh, is plummeting towards the planet. It's been disengaged from our satellite, and so um, I I immediately suspect that Tex had something to do with it. I've never trusted them. Uh, and I'm like, where's text? I, I need uh, I need a, a PV on text right now. I'm going to hit the comms, let the entire security force on the station know that she needs to be located uh, mm -hmm. immediately. What's everybody else doing? We're going to do an ace. Uh, just chilling, but I, get, I hear the comms, and I go down there to confront Tex. And Tex is there, and we have an argument. Ooh. And... Um, Crash actually just gets sucked in the jaw, and he's just he's laid right. out. All right, maybe Tex is up to something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody else? So Sakina is in the her mech, basically just trying to you know, practice more because she's still kind of learning all these things. And as she's there, she sees Tex come like running towards the mechs mm -hmm. um, and getting into one and like taking off and running off, and then. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh, I'm All sorry. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Everybody, sorry. Needs sorry. Sorry. Everybody needs to check in. Sorry, no. my bad. So I'm gonna be running after Tex, and I'm gonna be seen getting into my mech, and that's the Ben. Great. You're all checked in. Yes. I thought okay. it was. No, I, okay. I felt like you were too. All right. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna be a director when we come back from. Oh, that's fine. All right. So we come back from the commercial break. Uh, so one mech is falling from the satellite, and then another mech launches after it. That's Tex. And then another mech launches after it. And that's, that's Rex. Rex. And uh, so you wait, uh, like, you got socked oh, in yeah. the jaw, so what, where are you? What's happening with you now? Oh, well, I think... Because uh, I'm hitting the comms like, you yeah. know, where are we? What's going on? I try to radio back in, like, listen, this is what happens. You know, I got knocked out, okay. and I... I have kind of gotten to assess the situation and seen that the mechs have launched from the bay and I relay that information to you. Okay, so you let me know what's going on and I'm gonna check in also with you and find out like, well, what's our capacity at? It, this this seems like a terrible sabotage. Well, and to be per perfectly honest, Brock, I did install a failsafe in all of the mechs and if you want to, we can engage the failsafe in Texas mech. But what that will mean is that it will burn her alive on her way into Atmo. I don't know if we're 
at that point right now, but you are in your mech ready to go. Mm -hmm. I need you to stop this from happening okay. immediately. So I launch you without your permission. You just cut out of the satellite, start plummeting towards the rest of them. Oh, flashback to catch when them. I first got into my mech. Awesome. <laughs> I like not having control of things that are big and could kill me. So there's one, two, three, four mechs plummeting towards the planet, and then from out of camera or behind our satellite, uh, in flies another mecha, and that is the, the rainbow, rainbow, mecha, rainbow <gasps> mecha, yeah, mecha right. which is chasing all of you. Uh, as, as they all plummet towards the planet, semi-controlled, and that's the end of that entire episode. Are you done? Yeah. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? I think that was like done? five full seconds. Oh my god. Five full seconds. All right, okay. okay. So we need to hit a seven. What do we got so far? I've got, I put three in a negative one. I put four. I have seven. Oh. Dang it. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. God damn. You put four, you put six. You put six? I put six. Oh, I All right, so in your second place, your first place. So oh, just oh, mark down the, the keywords that you got. Um, yeah, I can't. So I'm in focus. And so uh, yeah, you want there's surprise, still. Surprise, surprise. So you want to see the score? No, oh, what's the oh, score? no I'm just saying I can't. Oh, I'm doing I'm a sorry. bad job. Oh, yeah. I'm what's the supporting scoring. character? Mm, I think I found the story right. What? Why is Jeff involved? Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I totally know why Jeff is involved. Oh, Jeff is a brother. fucking traitor all along. Okay, well, so. Yeah. Uh, Maybe the, you're the traitor. Him and Tex. Who knows? Maybe it's not Tex. Maybe it's not Tex. Okay, oh, so. Okay, okay. Well, All right, when last we here. left, yes. the uh, uh, dehydrogenated no, Tron, 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 no, Tron, dehydrogenator Tron. Listen, just call the DH. DH. The DH, yeah. DH. Oh, the dehydrogenator Ron. <laughs> it's the dehydrogenator Ron. And shh. And Please listen to the engineer. Dehydrinator on. <laughs> Dehydrinator on, which Correct. is the name of DH Prime, which we'll call DH Prime from now on. Thank you, Ace. Was stolen from our satellite and rocketing towards the planet. That's why we were so concerned. I was looking for everyone to check, and it turns out that I don't know where my twin brother, Jeff Steelwater, is. Rocketing after that lost mecha is uh, our, uh, our rookie, Shakina. Uh, and... Um, Rex. And Rex yeah. was also, yeah, Rex was also headed out after it, so he had three Rex into the ground, and then over the back came the rainbow-headed warrior from out of nowhere uh, in their mythical mecha, and Tex also, so it was like five mechs plummeting towards the planet, um, going so fast that they were almost completely out of control. What happens is that I get a message from uh, the our mech, the DH Prime that had been stolen. It's my brother Jeff, and my brother Jeff is like, your mission is futile. There's like resistance doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that's important is is uh, getting yourself ahead and not like you can't save everyone. You need to just save yourself. So I'm out of here. I'm gone, and that's it. Commercial break. Let's get deep. Can't we get, get back to the commercial this. break. I can't handle the betrayal of my own twin brother. Have a Kylo Ren episode. The twin of G's just gone. <laughs> the twin of G's. I'm like, oh, I, like, like, I flip a fucking console <laughs> and I'm like, phaser, 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 phaser. <laughs> yeah. Ah. No. I'm going, yeah. <laughs> like, wow. What did I get into? <laughs> the, engi the engineer has been watching from afar. Mint. And she's, uh, they, sorry, excuse me. They have finally um, figured out that Jeff is actually Rainbow Mellon. And both Rex and Crash are having a hard time figuring out what to do with this weird love affair with their leader slash twin brother <laughs> and traitor <laughs> and what they should do as they all plunge to Earth together. Oh my God. Much break. <laughs> well, wait, wait, no, we all have to check in. Yeah, everybody's got to check in before. Sorry. I mean, that's oh, fucking awesome. That's that. amazing, I know. And Zakina's really confused because, again, it's a rainbow <laughs> mobile rainbow. Okay, that, and that nobody has talked to Zakina right. about. She all no she idea. knows is that she's killing people that she loves. Who is this and... dude? Missiles. <laughs> 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 
Like, oh, there it is again. Blue button. <laughs> now I know. Now I know. Now I know. So Fuck you, we, Jeff. This time. Do we all, we like, we plunge to the planet then? I, I, We're still on the so ship. What I was seeing was that, like, there's, like, this trail of, I imagine it, like, from way, way, way far back, there's just these, like, plummeting tiny lights that are the different, uh, like, mecha headed towards this desert planet. Right. And we know that the first one is uh, the, our stolen Mecca, and that the two chasing it are you two. And then after that is the like the rainbow-haired warrior Mecca, which like completely came out of nowhere. Right, well, Tex is there too, because I'm the one that's yes. supposed to be still yes. chasing yes. You guys are chasing her, because you think she's, she's the enemy. The, so is that, I guess, how do we well, all no, know, know. Right? But that could be the question, like, who's, in the, right. who's in the lead okay. Mecca? Is right. it Tex? Is it Jeff? We don't know. We don't know, we don't know. which one is the rainbow haired warrior, which one is the person who stole the mecha, what side are either of them on? This is, this is very terrible. Well, I would know at some point. I think I think at this point, like Tex and I should be like calming each other back and forth because I think I would know from our very storied past yeah. that she's definitely not a traitor, but I with my reservations and being, you know, just like a stone cold kind of veteran soldier, I don't open my feelings up oh. to anyone else. I keep it all here. Maybe it's the kind of thing like you've got them in the crosshairs, you could stop this right now. Right. But you don't know who it is. You don't know if you can take that shot. That's right. Good. That's and good. Well, no, because I was thinking with Jeff, I was thinking maybe that that was the one who I shot and thought was dead. Okay. And then it turns out that he's back alive again, and that's why Tex was coming back. Sure. Yeah. To tell us that he was back from the. Or did from Jeff just the take that mech from the guy who or died? Did, or is it someone else entirely? Right. How, why are they? Removed? But it's open, right? Like we don't know who's who. We don't right. know what right. the allegiances are. So I think we don't know. Maybe no. maybe Tex is in the same place as Jeff. Maybe yeah. they're. And I think that it's not just that the characters don't know. It's that everyone observing the story, like the sure. audience, has no has idea. Has no like, idea. Wait, yeah. who, wait, who's piloting that? Who stole it? I think the last scene is Crash strapping into his mech saying, "Take them both out." <gasps> All right, that's a commercial break. Nice. All right, so we're nice. going to come Very back. Good. we got to do the finale of this. It can be really quick. It, it yep. doesn't necessarily have to have all the answers. Who got, no, you're, you got, you win the lead. Yes. The, oh, yeah, okay. All right. All right, so we come Let's back from this. the commercial break. There's still this extended sequence of mecha, pot, like, dive bombing towards the planet. Uh, there's uncertainty about who is piloting what, um, mm -hmm. which is really good TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. And as... You know, as they're landing, Crash says, you know, gets in his mech and says, we need to just take them both out. And that's how the, scene, the episode ends. Correct? Yeah, no, that can be yeah, the end. Yeah, I you want to bring that up? I mean, uh, yeah, I don't, I think that should be the end. Just end it all. Yeah, I don't okay. have, like, I don't have anything, like, I, I'm so, like, my brother, I don't know yeah. what's happening. Yeah. I'm, but you're not, I'm have, you have no input. We just need, no. there just needs yeah. to be some dramatic sequences where it, like, on my face, on your face. Right. Yes. Yeah. And Zakina's Thanks. just like, yeah, oh, like, let's do it. it. Yeah, like, yeah, but you, you kind of have a crush on Tex. So no, I don't. Like, yeah. No, no, we already established that I don't. <laughs> you, you say that you don't? <laughs> but you you really say that you don't. all you want. Yeah, really yeah like, yeah. you say that you don't, but Tumblr knows you do. No. no. <laughs> They've already fanficked you too. It's no. No. Yeah, they might have. They should do. <laughs> Snape level shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. This For all you know, she wanted Jeff. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm she had like a thing. For Who the knows? Show. This is a good season. This is a good season. Yeah. All right. All right. So now no, we're heading that into over. now we're heading into the two part finale. <gasps> two part finale. Hi. Ships of Light, in focus, the veteran. First part of our two-part finale. You've seen them before, a mysterious force sweeping onto the field of battle, but you figured it was just a hallucination. Who are they here to serve? First place, honor and justice. Save. Second, save. First place, honor and justice. Second place, endurance. Right. Could be either. Yeah, yeah. Did you put yourself? No, I haven't, I haven't. Uh, what kind of leader are you? <laughs> 
good sound. Make that sound more. <laughs> <laughs> I put oh, mine in. Cool, I'm gonna just drink this one. <laughs> just drink some more of that. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I already put mine over. Oops. Alright. Go. I put in two points. It's dangerous to go alone. I put in four. Oh, I put in three. So you put in wow, eight. you put in eight. Eight? eight? <laughs> okay, you're gonna win. You get first place. Who put in four? I did. So you get second place? Alright, so you get honor and justice, you get endurance. In focus is the veteran. Uh, lead us off. Um, so it's gonna go back to some calm talking between okay. Crash, myself, and Tex. And, um, and then Tex and I are both going to be trying to calm the ra rainbow mullet mech. We don't know who it is yet, but we're going to be trying to calm back while I guess Crash would be trying to fire missiles, I guess. I've got a lock. Right. I've got a yeah, lock. Yeah, or at least a lock or I've something. I've got a lock on Rainbow Mech, and I need to know whether or not that's the target I should fire on. Because yeah. there's, the, there's this train that. of like Mecha, one that's stolen, two that are ours, right. one that's the Rainbow Mech, and then you. And no one knows who to fire. Right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. we're doing a commercial break without a check-in? No, well, because that's, that's the, the middle one. one. Now we do the check-ins. Oh, okay. We do the check-ins at the bridge. You've got a lock. Oh, okay. A lock. That's a good commercial mark. I got a target. And we're back. All right. Now there's no mecha left. There's there's really nothing more that that like I can launch or I can do. But I end up pulling myself together and I uh, a I'm gonna send a message to uh, my brother Jeff uh, and let him know like it doesn't have to be this way. Uh, the that. The selfishness and the the all for one ideology is not how we were raised. It's not how we've survived. And abandoning all we've built right now is is you know making a mockery of, of everything we've done before. And if it comes to it, I will order everyone to strike against you. That's where I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna disown my own brother. Um, Sakina's basically tired of waiting for answer orders, so she's locked on onto. <laughs> she's like, "Fuck you, Rainbow Mullet! Like you've killed everyone that I know and love. So blue button. Like it's like I'm not gonna sit here and let you guys cry it out anymore. Like this is done." <laughs> the engineer who also shares the same mech as Brock. 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 Um, presses the remote engage of. Secret sparkle rainbow <laughs> mech. Yep. Because Sakina has locked on to Jeff's rainbow. Wait, are you mech. shutting them all down remotely? No, I'm just doing Well, it, we don't know that it's Jeff's. Oh, we don't know what we it's doing. Right. We don't no. know if Jeff's. We rainbow. don't know that it's Jeff's, but I've engaged Secret Sparkle. Alright. What are the ace and the veteran doing? What did Tex say? Did Tex say this is where I am this is who I am, this is where I'm at, this is the mech I'm in? Like what is Tex? I think yeah, it's important Texas, what she says. Yeah, is the crux Tex is of, trying to like say it's, it's not me. I'm trying to go after Rainbow Mullet or whatever. What if it's a whole like she shoot him? Know. And but she's the actual bad guy. But we don't know. What if you don't know? I don't That's think true. we know. I think. I think um, we shoot on Rainbow Mullet. I think I. Oh. I just go. I have the lock and I just take the shot. All right. And you don't know you whether. But Rainbow yeah. Mullet's engaged the sparkle. Yeah, that's true. As soon as you take the shot, I'm gonna do like a barrel roll and try it. Get in the way of the shot! I'm gonna block my no. shot. Block my shot! Wait, block for Rainbow shot. Mullet? Yeah. No. Alright, commercial break. So, you went after Rainbow Mullet and in sparkle then, mode. Uh, in yes. sparkle mode. Full <laughs> sparkle mode. <laughs> Super High speed for the supporting sparkle mode. Right? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, so, I was just gonna. Uh, when we come back from commercial break. Alright, we're I back from commercial sure. break. We're back. We okay, to, we're back. Don't forget we have to phone. <laughs> so, Tex sees that Rex is about to right? go get the shit shot out of him wow. by this, like, shot, mm -hmm. and it's like, that's not me, that's not me, don't block that, so, cause Tex doesn't want Rex to get, like, take something that's not yeah. even, like, for yeah. right now. her, um, so, this real yeah, cause Tex, <laughs> this whole time, this whole like, time. Tex is, like, really, you know, Tex is a mercenary, but 
the end of the day, has Tex heart. has heart and has, you know, cares about Rex. Whether they're not long term, you know, that's a whole different story. But, you know, doesn't want Rex to eat it. So. So, so, like, all the missiles go out and then that communication comes through and uh, you get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> You should get them there. <laughs> it's a bad idea. <laughs> like Texas, like you get like dipshit. Destroyed. It's not me. Like just like, don't die. <laughs> so I do a barrel roll. Again. You do another barrel, <laughs> another barrel roll. Over again. Double barrel roll. Double. Yeah. All. Well, no, 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 no. All as the barrel as, rolls. As the engineer, you do the deluxe super de duper round. <laughs> Royale yeah. barrel roll. Yes. Okay. Super so roll. Which was all part of the plan. And so. You the, do the Rex <laughs> maneuver. I do the Rex yeah. maneuver. I do. The patent. The Rex, Rex squared maneuver. maneuver. Yes. So yeah. then, uh, so then, but the missiles end up streaking past you and hitting their original target. Uh, and all of a sudden, the communication with my brother Jeff goes blank. Wait a second. Did you win that? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. What else no. is going on? So the the down. Red Baron, the because that's Rainbow Red Baron, um, mm -hmm. suddenly puts up the shield okay. around the the, okay. the mech that we didn't even know was a possibility. So all of our our shots are basically <gasps> for naught. Which is and exactly why you can't get the communication from Jeff. Because that shield has blocked out Locked everything. Out. It basically just. But it's we don't know that. We don't know that we right don't away. Know that First is like yeah. this white out and there's all these explosions yeah. and it's just like psh, white, yeah. painted right. white, and then when we come back, it's that, just the, the shield is shimmering there the mech. and the mech yeah. is still there. Yes. All right. And so I that's think... the end. Skeleton key, the finale. <laughs> in focus is the ace. You got an in, a back channel, straight into the heart. That could put an end to this conflict, Ooh, but is the like... price too high? First place, the safety no, and honor. Pressure. Second place, so triumph. Wait. First place is safety and honor. Second place is triumph. Uh, considering that I've only got one card, I'm yeah. gonna bid that card. Put them all in? Fuck you all. <laughs> I play all my cards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> me too. Okay, okay flip them. I put in six. Negative two. I put in four. I still can't flip them though. I put in three. <laughs> Here, let me help no, you. No, I got it. <laughs> what, are, what are our totals? Uh, three, I mean, four, six. You have a six? six I have a six. Nine. I have a six. I have negative two. You have nine? No, no, no. no She's no, adding no. them all together. Six, nine, thirteen. Thirteen. Plus six, two. fifteen. All right, so we're going to win this Aww. episode. Yeah, what yeah. the hell, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that all you have. How are we going to have a season two? All right, who's, <laughs> the, who's the high bidder? Uh, so, how many? Yeah, we're going to have a season two. It's a tie, right? So, we both get safety and honor. No season two. And then I have. What was the other one? Triumph. Triumph. Finally. Triumph. Uh, I said finally. Game In focus is the ace. Ace. Uh, lead us off. Can this be a musical episode? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get canceled. <laughs> I mean, it's a lost episode. Yola. We're gonna get canceled. All right. So Jeff has our comm channels. He's in the rainbow mech. He's got the shield, and he radios us all. He's like, "You guys are ridiculous. Give up. Give up." You're fighting for a lost cause. Here's your chance now to join me. You can come over. They'll forgive everything, all your transgressions, all your fighting against us. Join us as the winning side. This is the place to be. Yeah. I've accepted it. You need to come over. We should just we should just be feeding off of the innocent people. Is what you're saying, Jeff? My brother. <laughs> <laughs> they end on my brother. <laughs> commercial break. Commercial break. Okay. All right, we come back from the commercial break. Fuck it, Jeff. <laughs> Tex asks how um, Jeff got that ship. Yeah, how did you get that rainbow mech? That beautiful rainbow mech. <laughs> <laughs> With the sparkling mullet. With the sparkling mullet. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so Brock is putting into, uh, is, is unlocking protocols on the computer. Uh, and so distraught by the betrayal of my own brother against me um, that, you know, I think he's dooming us all. Like, it, it can't just be, it can't just be the survival of the fittest. That's not what society is supposed to be about. We need to live, but we need to live in some kind of harmony with 
uh, the rest of our species. I'm unlocking protocols for our space station and I'm gonna start diving, uh, setting the space station into a ramming speed course towards the rainbow mecca mm -hmm. because it seems unstoppable otherwise. Okay. All right, so Rex is going to be reckless and dive faster at Jeff because I'm just, I'm so upset and distraught over the rainbow mullet situation. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of just spitting in your face with that. Yeah. yeah. And the engineer is so sad. Mid. It's or so mid. sad <laughs> that that Brock <laughs> has never noticed them, <gasps> which is why <laughs> they engaged the sparkle bullet. Foolish game. <laughs> which is why. <laughs> satellite in the first place. Oh, well, so we do that. Dehydrator. Yes. Oh, well. So as it's plummeting towards the planet, the Mecca who are on the side of justice and honesty have their power boosted to over 9,000. Yes. They, they connect with one another and uh, they form a giant, vaguely humanoid satellite slash uh, mecha and uh, are uh, and, but they still are all plummeting towards the planet as they as this giant mecha is plummeting towards the planet it is able to grab and prevent uh, the attacks and also uh, the rainbow mm -hmm. mullet Jeff from escaping mm -hmm. and take it down with it as yeah. it as it enters the atmosphere what did everyone check in what? Yeah, no. really, what's everybody else doing? You're all part of uh, the no, yeah. we're all part of the mech. Yeah. Like, this, awesome. awesome. <laughs> this is totally awesome. This is this is everything I ever needed in my life. All right, yeah. so who won? So that's the end of season one. <laughs> it's that the satellite gestalt mecha is plummeting towards the planet. <laughs> oh, cliffhanger! I would. No, Wait, no, no, next no, 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 no. So now we get to do the epilogue. Yeah. Oh, okay. Epilogue. So whoever, uh, everybody reveal what their motives are. Mine are survivor. Mine is Avenger, Avenger. Avenger. which actually really fit for my character. Yeah. Triumph and endurance. Mm -hmm. Guardian. Mine was justice and triumph. Any of them? I, I, Honor and I got oh. like two and I got two. All right, so mine were endurance and safety, and I got six. Really? Of oh. the both combined? Yeah. Is it both? Oh, okay. So mine was justice and triumph, and I got eight. So you got eight, eight I got six. What do you got? I had honor and safety and got four. Eight six four, and I think I have two. We have two as well. Eight six four two. Thanks. Okay, so what we're gonna do is that you two are gonna start, and then you, then me, then you are gonna dictate what happens in the epilogue. So, when last at the end of the episode, the Gestalt Mecca was plummeting towards the planet. Go. Yes. Um. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know, it's plummeting. How do we epilogue from this? Um, Rex is so drunk forward, that he doesn't even think. Huh? What's Rex doing? Where, just tell us the end of what you want to see the story. 
to be, and then we'll completely undo it with our endings. <laughs> well, no, I thought we were all part of the like Voltron. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So we're so what's what, happening? What happens then? All right, it's so Rex is just gonna go over the intercom and just have like a heart to heart with everybody, and yeah. just gonna be like, we can get through this, we can do this. Done it before, been in worse scrapes, sort of grizzled. A accepting the, that we're kind of all plummeting to our doom. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll go on a blaze of glory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The better it is, the better it knows. Mid julep? Yeah, the better. Mid julep takes the um, shears of unicorn horn <laughs> <laughs> and sneaks onto Crash's mat and cuts half of the mullet off. Oh, you do this. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I don't understand the motivation. <laughs> Just because? Crash Planet Coot. You want to see something beautiful Crash, die? Crash Planet Coot. With the understand. unicorn shears. With the unicorn shears. <laughs> Crash Bandigan. With the... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. And wait, then, no, no, and no, no, then no, there's no. a glitter. All right. And then they the attach the glitter. Magic. The glitter. Skull. Skull, yeah, I was going to say. All right, with the power of the unicorn magic glitter skull, I lasso our opponents to get... I. I Use them together and lasso them and, and throw them at the satellite descending and try to pull it. Yeah. Oh. Pull it oh. So if we die, we all die together. We all die together. All right. We go down as a team. Uh, yeah. So now that you've got them all in, uh, I'm going to, the rest of the, the crew, I'm going to uh, command them to go to um, their safety vehicles and jettison from the satellite because we might die. Mm -hmm. But I don't. They don't all need to die with me, mm. and so I make noble. sure that they're safe uh, as we plummet mm -hmm. towards the atmosphere in our futile war. Final say. Um. Who <laughs> <laughs> won? The rookie, the rookie, oh, this is your responsibility. The rookie's really, <laughs> the rookie's really torn about. See, you don't you know, even want to win. Yeah. So what? Tina doesn't want on, Rock Rick. to. To die, you know what I mean. Well, it can be so in all of this time, you know, Sakina's been working really hard, learning, training on her back, like doing all these things, and everybody else is like getting drunk or gambling or doing whatever it is that they do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, crying, you know, Shakespearean so, style about their brother. Honorable <laughs> you know. songs. So during that time, she's been learning a lot about the different maps and the different capabilities. Which so, we know from a montage sequence. Right. Oh, montage. As, right, as exactly. it, like, everything is in slow mo as this giant so, massive satellite is plummeting towards the planet. Mm -hmm. But we still get the montage of all of your training and all you've right. learned. Does the montage include a flash dance sound like water? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it's just a symbol. She's just a skill. It's a bucket. On the side it's called a bucket. <laughs> but it's the size of a so, <laughs> Okay, sorry. Symbols are buckets. She yeah. has. Like designed um, her mech to be able to disengage from everything else entirely. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my>. Fuck you! <laughs> but, Peace, I'm out. But with her mech, because she, like she has an issue with Rainbow Hair, she's held this oh. like grudge against him this whole time, killing her family, her friends. So instead of everybody else dying, including Brock, she just latches herself on and takes <gasps> it oh, down. Oh, so so then she just wants to, that was all she needed. All right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so the rookie died to kill the Well, maybe. Well, we, we don't, don't know. know. We don't know. Yeah. It, like, the rookie's dead, but we can rebuild her. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or is she? You know, As maybe yeah. she survives yeah. the crash. You never so know. So that's the end of Hearts Blazing. Uh, thank you guys yeah. very much for joining us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We're the best she is. space team around.